Namaste. Morning. Another short practice for the day. Starting on the box. Knees hug the chest. And just allow your low back to settle. Yeah? And I'm breathing here mindfully. As you inhale, you may lightly hug them closer. On your exhalation, soften them. You may use one hand to stretch the rest. And then changing hands. Alrighty. All right. And we just cycle the legs. The leg and the joints of the knees. And stretching lightly our hamstrings as we fold the knees. If you want to coordinate the breath, the pattern is inhale as you swap legs. And exhale as you hug them. Yeah. And feel free to hold the position if that side is tighter. You may even you know, do a mild sway of the other knee, the other leg. Yeah. Just lightly open. Yeah. A few more. Yeah, that's all. all right. And both knees hugging again to the chest. And here, let's slightly lift the head up. Good. And then settle. All right, place your hands under your skull, All right, knees over the hips, and we just move and fan them to side to side. All right, so if this is difficult for your low back, yeah, feet down, and then just allow the hips and the legs to move instead. Yeah. Good. Inhale as they rise, and exhale as they fall. Right. And then you may add yeah, the knee swings open, and change and swing. Lightly open the sacrum here. We use a mild yeah, swinging momentum you know, to open yeah, yeah, our little back and the sacral region. Good. From there, recenter everything, crossing the ankles, and then we just lightly rub the little back, but don't bounce. Yeah. You might shift to one side, you might change legs, Good. and then we're twisting. All right, leg closest to me, the left leg longer, and cross the right hip on top, and we just open a right arm wide across. So this sequence is good in the morning, yeah. because this one, we uh, you know, stimulate you know, the hips in the core region, and some mobility component to, to increase their energy levels, but not too much. This is also good at night, you know, to release stagnation. One more breath here. Beautiful. All right, and we'll just do uh, now about, uh, so just belly on the floor. Keep your right knee out to the side, and then left side low. Just rest the head facing your right hand side. And then sit all here. So this is like a hip stretch. Since the weight of the body is pouring down, this also opens the discs of a spine. It's good for you know, our cardiorespiratory system when we're lying down flat. And when the hips open, such as this, the breath can easily pierce through our pelvic cavity. And keep adjusting if you need. You might extend and then crawl and settle again. Good. Master Kridasana. Good. And then from there, we just level our body. So you might shift to your left and then snake your spine away from the hips and then settle on the forehead down and then let the arms relax a moment. Beautiful. All right. And we're pressing to kneel, inhaling, setting our hips and then just moving them to mouth side to side and exhale out. And then from there, forward your weight. Yeah, down with facing dog, at home Kashanasana. Tuck the head to the chest. You may stay here for like five, ten breaths, or you can join me practicing the kapal body. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, nourishing breath in the light and the way up. And exhale, then back. All right, crossing our knees through and sitting forward. 
and down the floor. Well done. All right, keep your knees bent and roll your spine back down. Right, so we're just repeating the sequence from the top. And here, let's move slightly actively. You may lightly sway from one side and then drop to the other side and then circling. Right. Push and pull. Yeah. Soften, inhaling, hugging, exhaling, soften. Good. All right. I'm so wide this time as we find the legs. Yep. Knees swing open. Good. Feel free to hold one side longer if you want to do that inner thigh massage. So one hand support the other knee or the other inner thigh. And then just rub that inner thigh muscles away from the creases of the hip. You may open. Uh, and use the hands uh, to massage and then move your yeah, stagnation there. Right, and then swinging again. Yeah. Yeah. Love this flop now. Yeah. Okay, and then let's drop to the other side so we can stretch. Yeah. Because then this part of our hips, yeah, the crease which connects our uh, inner hip with the femur bone, the muscles there tend to tighten yeah, because of like what improper posture. Maybe your work entail a yeah, long time of standing, walking, or sitting, working in front of your computer, and really tighten the hips. Yeah? Good. And then fan him, side to side him. Well, generally, yeah, the body weight drops to the hips. Yeah? Okay, and then crossing the ankles again, just mildly rock up and down, and then changing. Beautiful. All right, we're twisting. So the right leg down, cross the left over. You might slightly stack your right hip. So you can readjust and open your left arm. You may look away there, facing your left hand. And breathe. It feels good already, eh? Just allow it to settle a moment or two. Beautiful. All right, and then turning over, just flip over. Yeah, you can even go wider now. Open your left knee wider. You can adjust your right hip wider and longer. You may crawl the hand there, reach. Yeah, you may crawl in and out of the leg. Sometimes you may want to circle that leg around. Yeah. So you can access those inner lines of the hips. Adjust if you need. This is my uh, loose side. So. I find myself working more on those inner joint step before you settle. And let the head relax. And breathe. And really mindful, like you're piercing the breath from the nostrils. Some goes to the sinuses in the brain. And the rest descends to the body, the throat, the chest, the abdomen, the haps. And as you exhale, a moment of settling, let the body contour on the floor. Beautiful. All right. Level the haps, you may lightly shift, All right. snaking lightly forward. All right. Good. And this time, we just allow the arms to relax, forehead to the floor, bending both knees, and we circle them around. This is actually my warming up sequence. Yeah. My regular warming up sequence before I tackle deeper elements. But it's a good one and it's on already. Yeah, crisscross. Yeah, swim the leg. You may find them from side to side and let them pull. And circling. And after that, left one side up. Lay hang. And the other one. Good. From their level. Yeah, snaking the spine forward. 
you may like, like kick the leg then, release stagnation. You may want to lightly wiggle and roll the shoulders then, the neck, and settle. Alright. And this time around, we're going to open the spine, breathing in, and exhale. To the back, we do down the dog this time. Alright, just pat the legs, bend and stretch the knees, side to side the hips. Mm, you might do your facial stretching here, massage the tongue, open and widen your mouth. <sighs> you might side the same hasa. <sighs> Inhale through the nose. <sighs> okay, and then crimping your eyes, opening and settle. Good. Kapal body. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. All right, beautiful. All right, light in your hips. Inhale. And exhale down. All right, this time, yeah, cross it. Sitting. Straighten the legs. And then shake them around. And side to side them. Beautiful. All right, from there, you lift leg crossing under. Right is on top. All right, lift arm, hugs the knee. And then twist to the right hand side. Get away from me. And then you can turn the head here. You might roll the shoulders a few times. Easy twist. Yeah, that's the idea of this practice. Easy, soft, no forcing, less alignment, more mobility, your movement, openness, and the breath, of course. All right, from there, yeah, untangle, circle away from the knee, going to the other side of your practice mat. Good. Thumb forward. And lower knees. Drop the body. Let the head relax. Loosen. Good. Now drying the mouth. You may adjust the legs in preparation for the left. You may lightly arch already. Inhale. Right. And then to the back. You exhale down. Facing down. All right. Head down. Yeah. Two more rounds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, breathing in, lighten the hips. Exhale, you might turn around there. Yeah, pedal the legs, walking side to side. Yeah, and drying the mouth, inhaling through the nose, out through the mouth. Long breath, nose. One more, inhaling. All right, recover the breath, crossing through again, <laughs> and then sitting down on the floor. All right, give your legs a light shake in the front. Good. Quite energized in the rain already, huh? All right, right leg is under, left is on top, hug the left knee, and then twist away from me. And you may lightly adjust there, yeah, you may lift the head and the knee, and twist around, and exhale. Yeah, easy shoulders. We're actually tackling all the essentials. Spine mobility, head mobility, yeah, cleansing, and activation of the cranial cavity. One last time here, breathing in. And exhale out. All right, uncross, circle away from the knee, down the dog. You may bend and stretch the knee there. And settle. All right, breathing in, couple of body. Four, three, two, and one. All right, inhale. Exhale. Last breath, keep going. Inhale. All the way until you feel the core closes. Inhaling. All the way down to the pit of the hips. Good. One last. Breathing in. Good. And you walk the legs. Massage the tongue. Side to side the hips. 
And at this time, outside of the hands, walk and jump, or just step, yeah? Outside of the hands, and then sit, all right, flip the hands, shake them out, walk the heels and the hips. All right, you might just stay here in stillness. If this is heavy for your heels, you can lift uh, the ankles and then steady. Or you may use what? Yeah. Anything that to support your balance, maybe another elevation there, or you can set your butt on that elevation. Now, what's important is we promote the mobility and the openness of our hips. Okay. Or you may want to join me. Pressing through the hands, inhale, shifting, balancing, and lifting. And then stay. 1,005, 1,004, 1,003, 1,002, and 1. All right. Landing. All right. Back and then do your... Lazy Shuturanga, <laughs> like you want to just fall from there, reposition, breathe up, open, and exhale to the back. Good, and then you might lift one side up and then do the other one. Good. Mash the legs. Good, and set. And then through we sit. On the ground. Sweet. Yeah. Just cross legs. And rest the hands. Yeah. Short but complete. Yeah. That's all we need. Yeah. Consistency. Do it again. And again. And again. Right. Long breath in through the nose. We're humming it low, yeah, so we can target the chest and the core. Inhale. Send your eyebrows up. Oh. One more from the core to the brain. Expand. Left over the head, circle them up, looking up, and exhale and down. Now find your rhythm. Yeah. Two more times. We do this circular breath up, lightly side the top, and exhale. Yeah. Inhale this time, we can retain. Yeah, lightly up for like four seconds. Close and three, two, and one. All right, close the hands, Anjali Mudra. Let them rest in front of the chest and exhale, bow the head low. Yep, namaste. Enjoy the rest of the day. Catch you next time. Bye.